I think I get back more from you guys than you realize. Product recommendations, resources to check out, all that great stuff. And occasionally some what the actual moments. One of these moments was the inspiration for today's video. Do I recommend taking sunscreen pills? Like, what? Hi, I'm Dr. Anne. I'm a medical doctor with a passion for skincare that works. On this channel, we explore the science behind skin and do quick reviews, so you learn to pick exactly those products that work for your individual skin concern. So if this is something you're interested in, please consider subscribing and ring the notification bell. So sunscreen pills, also known as oral sun protection, manufactured by different brands with the most commonly known being Heliocare. I admit, at first I had no idea what the people in the comments were talking about. Oral sun protection was not something that existed in my world, but I'm well aware that we all live in our own little echo chamber, so just because I haven't heard about it, that doesn't mean it doesn't exist. And after I learned what they are, and what they claim, but not really exactly say in the claims, if you get what I mean, I went full-on arrogant European and thought, whoa, that's such an American thing. Very quickly I discovered that not only sunscreen pills were very much a thing everywhere, but had made some headlines recently. Yeah, that might already give you a notion of the direction this video is taking. A quick disclaimer first, I will show Heliocare several times in the video, mainly because they were the brand I got the questions on. Other than these oral supplements the video is going to focus on, they do a wide variety of sunscreens that I personally never tried, but that use good filters and are loved by many, so this is not a review of the company in general. What is the notion behind oral sun protection? In short, UV rays lead to the production of so-called free radicals or ROS, reactive oxygen species. The more you are exposed to UV, the more of these free radicals occur. Free radicals can damage cells, leading to premature aging and what we know as sun damage, so anything that will catch off these free radicals will help prevent that. Antioxidants, something I have talked about on here before, do catch the free radicals. This is why we put them in our skincare. And we do know that oral administration of antioxidant is more effective than topical one. What do sunscreen pills contain? Antioxidants, or to be precise, ingredients that claim antioxidant properties. And of course the other stuff that is needed to form a pill like gelatin or starch or whatever, I'm not a formulator. Which antioxidant is used differs from manufacturer to manufacturer. Most of them have one that they claim does the work, which in case of Heliocare is a fern, lending the name to their catchy slogan Fern Protect Technology, but add a few others that have a lot more research behind them. Case in point, the Heliocare Ultra capsules, which feature vitamin C and E, as well as the fern extract. And if you ask me, these two probably do the antioxidant work rather than the fern, but that would be hard to sell then over your random multivitamin bought at the drugstore. Why are they called sunscreen pills then? Well, technically, they aren't. There were some that were called sunscreen pills and those were quickly pulled because of false claims. If you look closely, none of them has sunscreen or sun protection in the actual name. You do find them when you google that term though, which indicates this is what people look for in their search. And reading on, the distributor suggests that these work as sun protection. Yes, they state you need a regular sunscreen with them, but the way they talk about the product, the whole pseudo-medical advice, how and specifically when they need to be taken in order to be effective, suggests that they are more than your average food supplement. I mean, if intense sun exposure is expected, take an additional capsule at noon? No. Reapply your sunscreen and seek shade. How are sunscreen pills regulated? They aren't. They are supplements, and other than the beauty market that gets a lot of bad reputation, especially in the United States, but is against common misconceptions, regulated very well, supplements underlie much less regulations, which will forever be confusing to me. Certainly what we ingest should be looked at much stricter than what we apply topically, but that is not today's topic. It of course doesn't mean that all supplements are bad, but you need to know that you can only hope that they are produced by a company with well intentions, especially if you buy them over the internet from who knows where possible scenarios range from you're just wasting your money to you're actually ingesting harmful stuff. So keep that in mind and buy from a qualified source. Will sunscreen pills work? 
Well, that totally depends on what you expect them to do. If you use them for antioxidant properties, who knows? I mean, antioxidants do work, but if the pills are better than eating, let's say, tomatoes, I'm not convinced. If you, however, take them and think you can reduce the amount of sunscreen you apply or spend more time in the sun, no, they will not work, not at all. They might even have the opposite effect. You feel protected after all you pop the pill, so that must mean something and end up getting more sun than you would have otherwise, with subsequently more sun damage. Why don't I recommend them then? First, I'm not one to advise you on supplements. I am not a nutritionist. I am not a dietitian. And while I do believe that some supplements can be helpful in individual people with individual concerns and lifestyle choices, I rather have an apple than pop a pill to get my antioxidants. If you feel otherwise, go ahead, but please always consult with your doctor or a specialist before ingesting random stuff. The main reason though I don't recommend them is because I think their marketing is misleading and people will mistake them for what they are not, a replacement for regular application of a broad spectrum sunscreen with at least SPF 30 or for being sun smart in general, like seeking shade, avoiding the midday sun and wearing sun protective clothing. With these results. Can you blame the company for the stupidity of consumers? Yes, to a certain extent you can. Companies pay people to write texts that suggest things they are not legally allowed to claim, fully knowing that quite a few will get it wrong. The honest thing here would be to say, this is an antioxidant pill, antioxidants are good for different things, we recommend you take them daily. Rephrasing that as added sun protection, despite telling people to wear sunscreen, might be legal, but I don't think it's ethical. People don't like applying sunscreen. People don't wear enough sunscreen. Skin cancer is on the rise. The last thing we need is anything that gives people an excuse to be even less diligent with their protection. Want more sunscreen? Here are all the videos I did on the topic over the last few weeks. And I will see you all very soon with another one. Bye!